Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Also, sorry that I sound different. As you can tell, I am still sick, sadly. Hopefully, I get better in the next couple days, though. But yeah, as we all know, with the weekly update that came out yesterday, I did some of the best money methods we've seen in GTA 5 Online in a while, and I'm going to be showing you all of them in this video. So if you do go on to enjoy, make sure you drop a like on the video and also hit that subscribe button if you aren't subscribed already. But now, let's get into it. Okay, so getting into the first money method, this is literally going to be the most overpowered money method we've had in a while. You can make $900,000 every 20 to 30 minutes if you do this correctly. Now, the only thing you need for this is an auto shop. So if you own an auto shop, what I want you to do next is enter inside of it. Once you're inside, now make your way up these stairs and go over to where the auto shop contracts are located at. These auto shop contracts are actually paying triple money and triple RP this entire week. That's why the payments look so crazy. Now, the best contract that you can start is right there in the middle called the Union Depository Contract. That's the one that you want to start because it pays $900,000. Once you start this up, you can see you have to do two simple setups before, the first one being the elevator key. Now, if you've never done this one, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go over to a random apartment, enter inside of it, and once you are inside of it all you have to do is take out a whole bunch of hired gunmen and once you take all of them out you have to look for a corrupt businessman which is going to be in some room around you once you find him all you have to do is search his body and you'll now get the elevator key that you need to go downstairs to get the vehicle so now make your way downstairs into the elevator and once you are downstairs you need to take out a whole bunch of more hired gunmen and once you take them all out now you can get inside the security vehicle that we're going to be using for the main finale heist of this contract so get inside of it and drive it out. Once outside with the security vehicle, all you have to do next is drive it over to one of these three marked locations that it shows you on the map. I like to park it here all the time. It's literally the same garage that I park it all the time. Once you park at one of those three locations though, simply leave the area and there you go, mission pass. That is the first setup completed. It should take you no longer than five minutes. But like I said, that wasn't the only setup. You do need to do one more, which is called the vault code, but don't worry, we're gonna go over that right now. Now the vault code one's pretty simple. All you have to do is go over to the LSIA airport, take out some cops surrounding the this maverick helicopter and then steal it and bring it over to this parking lot once you're at the parking lot all you have to do next is click right d-pad and search for a blue porsche it's going to be this blue porsche right here it's literally always going to be the same car so once you find the blue porsche just scan it like i'm doing here and once you successfully scan it it should show green like that positive and that's how you know you did it correctly so now exit and back up your helicopter because you are going to need to tail this vehicle but you can't be too close to it because as you can see on the bottom right there is a detection bar and that will go up if you're too close to the vehicle once you follow the bank teller all the way through, you should end up at a random hotel. And once you get to that hotel, what you need to do next is open up your camera and look for the bank teller. Once you find him, he should be next to a lady. Now, all you need to do is press A and take a picture once he's hugging the lady. Just like that right there. Now you can take a picture when he's hugging her. And boom, just like that, you are now done with this setup. All you have to do is wait for Santa to contact you and then leave the area. And boom, you are now done with the second setup. So once you've done both of those setups, you are now ready to do the finale contract, but make sure when you start up the finale contract, you have three other friends in the lobby with you because if you have three other friends, that's going to get you the most possible money from this contract. Anyway, for this contract, all you have to do is go over to where you park that security vehicle and drive it over here to the Union Depository. Once you drive it here, all you have to do next is go over to the elevator and that elevator will bring you down to the vault. So once you've made it down into the vault, now you and all of your friends have to pick up the gold that's laying around. Each one of you can hold a whole stack and a half of gold. This is why it's important to make sure you have three friends, because if you didn't have three friends, you wouldn't be able to pick up all of this gold, and you wouldn't be getting the huge amount of money that I'm getting in this contract. If you ever have trouble getting friends to do the Union Depository contract in GTA 5 Online, I recommend you join my Discord server. You can easily meet GTA players just like yourself, who are more than willing to help you do stuff like this in GTA, like the Union Depository contract. I'll go ahead and leave my Discord linked at the top of the description. Anyway, once you've got out of the vault, you just have to take out a whole bunch of cops and make your way back to the garage that you parked that security vehicle in where you parked your vehicle in. Once you get there, all you have to do is get in your vehicle and drive all the way over to the destination. And once you get to that destination, that is when you finally have completed the Union Depository contract. And yes, it literally was that simple. Even the setups, you guys saw it all here. The Union Depository contract is a very easy one to do. And take a look at how much money you get from doing it. As you can see, we just completed it, contract passed and take a look at this amount of money you can see i got paid one million dollars and seven thousand rp so when you do this you'll be making anywhere from nine hundred thousand dollars to a million dollars every time you run it and also the other people who are in here with you are going to be making around one hundred ninety five thousand dollars a piece and that is exactly why i said this is one of the most overpowered money methods to do this week make sure you take advantage of it this entire week
Okay, but now getting into the second money method, I'm next going to show you how to make a quarter million dollars in only two minutes. If you want to do this, what we're going to be doing is the HSW time trial for this week, which is going to be located right here in Sandy Shores. So make your way over here to this exact location. And once you come over here, make sure you call out your fastest HSW vehicle that you want to use for this time trial. And once you get it now, get inside and bring it on top of the HSW time trial. Once you bring it on top of the HSW time trial, next just click our right D-pad and stay still. Now open up your pause menu and come all the way down here to where the yellow checkpoint is at once you find the checkpoint now simply mark it so you have a waypoint to get there and now drop your pause menu open up your phone click in the middle where it says job list and then click x and then a to quit the time trial once you've quit out of it now line yourself up just like this and once you line yourself up just like this whenever you're ready click right d-pad to start the hsw time trial doing this little shortcut right here going through the water will save you a couple seconds so it's definitely worth doing but once you make it to the other side all you have to do is follow the waypoint exactly as it shows you on the map making sure you're going as fast as possible and trying your best not to crash as long as you don't crash too many times and you were going as fast as you possibly could you should be able to beat it and once you beat it take a look at how much money you get two hundred and fifty two thousand dollars which is very good for only two minutes of doing a simple time trial. All right, but now getting into the third money method, this is going to be super good because exotic exports are paying triple money and triple RP this entire week, and we're going to be taking advantage of it for this third money method. Now, if you do not know what exotic export vehicles are, basically, if you're in a session for over 15 minutes, you'll randomly see these blue dots spawn across the map. And whenever you do see one of these blue dots, simply open up your pause menu and look at it on the map. And if it says it's an exotic export vehicle, that's exactly what we want. So go over to it on the map and you'll see it's a random vehicle. Usually it's a pretty cool looking one. All you have to do next is get inside of it. And once you get inside of it it'll tell you to deliver it over to the docks and just like vehicle cargo you cannot crash this car because if you crash it you're not going to be getting paid the full amount once you deliver it which is going to be sixty thousand dollars which if you ask me is pretty good for only around two to three minutes of simply driving this vehicle over to a destination you can see i just made my way over to the destination and once you make it over here you just have to deliver the vehicle to that yellow circle and you'll now be put through this cutscene, which is basically like a crate coming down to pick up the car or something i guess but after you get through this cutscene, you'll see now you get the money which is going to be sixty thousand dollars which is indeed triple money and triple rp because the normal amount that you would have got is twenty thousand dollars but like i said this week it's triple money so make sure you take advantage of it this week every time you see an exotic export vehicle all right, but now getting into the fourth money method, I'm next going to show you how to make $100,000 in only two minutes, which is pretty good. Now, what we're going to be doing is this week's regular time trial, which is going to be located right here in the Vinewood Hills. So make your way over to this location. And once you come over here, call out your fastest motorcycle that you do own. You can see right here, I got my Shitaro. That's just a fast motorcycle that I like using because the handling. But once you get the motorcycle that you like, now come on top of the time trial and click right D-pad. Now stay still, open up your pause menu though, and come all the way up here to where the checkpoint is at and mark it. Once you've marked it, simply now drop your pause menu, and once you've dropped your pause menu, open up your phone, click on the middle where it says job list, then click X and then A to quit the time trial. Once you've quit it, next, put yourself on the very edge of the circle like this, and whenever you're ready, click right D-pad to start it. As you can see, this week's regular time trial is actually very simple. Literally, all you have to do is follow the waypoint exactly as it shows you on the map, basically making sure you're going as fast as you possibly can. But once you get to this part right here, you can actually take a shortcut by jumping down this mountain. Make sure you do not go as fast as I was going here, though, because if you do go that fast, you might fall off. So make sure you go down that mountain very slowly. But yeah, that is a shortcut that you can take. And once you take that shortcut, it should make you beat the time trial even faster. As you can see, I'm actually going to beat it with around 15 seconds left. And once you beat it, you'll get 100 hundred and two thousand dollars which is very good for only two minutes make sure you do this this week now, sadly, this is going to be the last money method of this video, but the good news is anybody can do this money method and make lots of money off doing it. Now, if you want to do this money method, all you have to do is simply open up your pause menu. And once you've opened up your pause menu, go over here to where it says online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, adversary mode, and scroll all the way down until you see this adversary mode right here called sumo. As you can see, it's going to be paying double money and double RP this entire week. So go ahead and start up whichever one you want to. I personally recommend starting up sumo three. Anyway, once you started any one of those up, for the settings, make sure you put the number of teams set to four teams. That's going to make it the complete maximum of teams. Then come down to team balancing, make sure that's on. And now come down to first to win and set that to seven rounds. If for some reason it doesn't let you set it to seven rounds, it's probably because you're starting this in a public session. You need to make sure that you start this in an invite only session. Anyway, next you can go to vehicle lot class and set it to whatever you want to. I like supercars because all the other cars suck to be honest. But yeah, if you've never played the sumo adversary mode, it's a very, very fun one to play. Even if you don't need money in GTA 5 online, if you have friends in GTA, I highly recommend you play this game mode. It's very, very fun. Now, basically what you have to do is you can see there's multiple teams in this game mode and they're different colors. All you have to do is hit every single car that isn't your team's color 
off of the structure and once you hit them all off if your team is the last team standing you'll end up winning the round and here's exactly how much money you get every time you win a round you can see eight thousand five hundred dollars which does not seem like a lot of money but trust me at the very end since this is first to seven rounds you will be getting paid a pretty decent amount of money you can actually see right here we ended up finishing the entire match and we were the match winners and you can see here's how much money you're going to be getting paid if you do win the entire match you can see one hundred and forty one thousand dollars and also seven thousand one hundred rp so if you don't have any requirements in gta or if you're just a low level this is definitely a good money method option for you if you can't do any of the other money methods but yeah that is now going to be the end of today's video i hope you all did go on to enjoy those are all the best money methods to do this week in gta 5 online to make yourself millions and millions of dollars literally in no time because these money methods are overpowered but yeah like i said i am sick sorry i did sound different in this video hopefully i sound better in the next couple of videos from now i don't know how long this sickness is gonna last it's super annoying i hope i get better soon though but yeah, like I said, that's going to be the end of today's video, and I will see you all in my next one. Peace.